Welcome to the second episode of the Elver Survival Series. Last video we finished off with the Dead Zone run wherein there we killed a 4 geared player and today we're going to continue from there. In this video we're going to do a ton of PvP base trades and even a base defense. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see episode 3 make sure to drop a like let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe if you haven't already each one helps the channel grow its son. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim your prize please join my discord and contact me there. Today we're going to roll another one which is an atomic kitsune mask. To have a chance to win this mythical make sure to like, subscribe and comment something below members also have a higher chance to win and if someone wishes to become a member the link will be in the description below and without wasting any more time let's get straight into the video all right so we're currently making a ton of lockers i need to put the respirator in the oh there's somebody outside yeah they killed ghosty all right let me go try to kill him i hear him reload uh ghosty died back here i have no idea where he went oh he's right over there all right we got him oh there's another dude of course well, there were two guys. Uh, I did have the respirator on me, but thankfully I had another one in vault. Oh, I opened that by mistake. All right, let's get a gun. The ghost is not even here. He has a bed. I don't know. He's not homing. Sun crack. All right, let's salvage this. It's kind of stupid, but... Bro, what is this gun? Oh, I killed one. All right, well, this gun is terrible. I think we just lost everything. Yeah, wait. What was there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, great start. We just literally lost everything except the items that I had in vault. Thankfully, we had everything in lockers. Yeah, it's the only duo on the server. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have salvaged that wall. That gun was terrible, though. It was semi and the recoil was crazy. But obviously, they need to get raiding gear in order to raid our lockers. Everything was in there. I'm gonna try to get a gun and then we'll go back. Oh, there's a grenade. Maybe I could kill him with a grenade. I need to be quick with this as well. That same guy that just killed me. Is the same guy I killed at the dead zone. Now, thankfully, I did store all of the raiding gear in my vault and the respirator. But all of these zombies... All right, we got ourselves a pog. I'm gonna TPA to Ghosty because he is quite close. Let's make ourselves some meds. All right, yeah, we're very close. All right, we're back and they're not even here. Yeah, they just basically killed us, took our guns and left. Now, what we're going to do is since they know that where we live... We're gonna take everything and we're gonna run away. Like, we're gonna go build somewhere else. Because these guys, they have quite a ton of... Uh, reputation on the server so that means that they've been playing here so they probably have a lot of loot including raiding gear so there's a high chance they went to get raiding gear now if we die now with everything i mean technically we don't even have that much good loot oh yeah and this is exactly what i was afraid of they are literally raiding us right now but they have no idea that we're here all right one guy dead other dude is right here oh i died and they TP'd back instantly. Well, I'm back. Alright, Ghosty killed them. Nice. Alright, let's go. Yeah, these... Okay, they actually brought a lot of raiding gear, so this is good. That's going straight in my vault. Yeah, let's pick up everything that's still here. There's a lot of high kill, actually. Dude, we actually got a ton of raiding gear from these guys. Alright, so we took a lot of the loot. And we're currently looking for another base that is raided, but we could take over. Yeah, I did give the raiding gear to Ghosty so that he could put it in vault because my vault is kind of full as well. Now, obviously, these guys will probably go back to our base. So once we do find somewhere to take over, uh, we will also return and try to kill them. Maybe they will go back with even more raiding gear. Yeah, and I think we just found ourselves the perfect base to take over. Uh, we did get ourselves a vault door as well. We got ourselves a brand new base. Got myself only one locker, but I think Ghosty brought some more. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put everything in here. All the items that we do not have space to store them, we will drop them. We will go back, take even more lockers and the rest of the loot that may still be on the floor. There's literally a clan bed right next to us. Imagine the owner just homes and then he finds us in here. Got ourselves a clapper as well, which is a pretty good sniper rifle. Got ourselves the fishing MK rod too. Now we'll drop everything so that we don't lose those. We'll take ourselves a backpack and wear a vest and we go back. Oh uh, yeah, all of the loot that we left is actually still here. And yeah, there's another loot pile over here. A bunch of random junk tape, a bunch of cans. We'll take those. Those are actually really, really good. A bunch of rubber. Yeah, I think the only thing that we lost is actually a respirator. I think as soon as they killed me the first time, they vaulted it. Which is okay, I still have one more. Technically, the respirator they got was their own because I killed them at the very, very start. Right, I'm going back to base. Yeah, we basically didn't lose anything else, though. We actually gained. Gained a lot of raiding gear. I'm gonna destroy this bed so that the owner doesn't magically appear out of nowhere. Now, obviously, later on, I still want to build my own base. I still want to have my own metal base, but I will do that much later. All right, so we're currently in military trying to get even more loot, mainly... Mainly high cal, there's a mega zombie as well. 
Alright, well, I need to reload. Oh, he's dead. Uh, okay, I saw a bunch of high kill, so that's good. I was mostly hoping for a match, to be honest, so that we can do another dead zone run. Because I need to do another filter. Uh, but yeah, three high kill boxes. That's 120 shots. It's pretty good. Got another of those sunk cracks. I really hate that gun. This recoil was way too high. Alright, so perhaps we can go and try to find a base raid very soon. There are lots of bases on this server, so we're gonna be doing a lot of raiding. And hopefully the first base that we raid will actually be a profitable one. Alright, well I have half a filter and I'm going straight into that zone. I don't know if it's a good idea, hopefully I don't die. Hopefully I actually get something. I'm gonna go into the blue room. What I'm hoping mostly is either for gunpowder. Well, it's already looted by somebody, so I don't think we're gonna get anything. Yeah, there's a Hellcat on the floor. There's a Pendiculator, I will take that. Another shotgun. Oh, we got ourselves one of those LMGs. That's pretty nice. Valentine. Another Valentine. Now let's go in the red room. Over here, gunpowder do spawn, and if we get those, then that's perfect. We got ourselves some thick clothes, military pants as well. Two fishing rods, MK2s. Another one. Met kit. Another med kit. Alright, there's a defibrillator battery here, I will take that. And there's nothing in that room. Graphics card. There's a U phone, I will take that as well. Alright, well, no gunpowder, unfortunately. Alright, let's check out this room as well, maybe get ourselves some ammo. Uh, extended magazine. Blowtorch, we don't need that. High cal. Yeah, somebody definitely looted this, but loot did respawn. Oh, there's a tank missile. A CPA to go see so that we get out of here. Yeah, unfortunately, no gunpowder, but we did get ourselves some other decent loot. Especially the cold deal. Alright, well, I think we just found ourselves a base to raid, which is at the very corner of the map, and it doesn't seem that small either. Now, there is two floors, and part of it is actually metal. Now, hopefully, we actually do have enough. Alright, so I got the heat wave. We got this from the other dudes that tried to raid us. Now, I am not sure if there is base health or not on the server. Oh, no, there isn't. Okay, perfect. Alright, we are in. Uh, we raided into an empty room. There's some dragon fruit over here. Let's raid this roof. And we are through. Okay, it's gonna be honeycombed and it's full metal. But we did just find ourselves the claim flag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop down this tree. And we're gonna make ourselves a wall so people cannot counter raid us. Alright, claim flag is broken. And there we go. People cannot counter raid us anymore. Alright, so let's raid, I don't know, this one. Alright, let's reload. I still have two high cal boxes on me. Yeah, a bunch of lockers. Perfect. Now hopefully they actually have some good loot. Oh yeah, there is. Alright, well, a thick backpack, thick helmet, some scopes, some green crystals. This one broke as well. Uh, jackhammer, even more thick clothes. Uh, this one broke. A bunch of rubber, a bunch of attachments. Alright, well, there are people outside. I hear people walking. Yeah, detonator. Well, thankfully, we actually sealed it off, or else we would have probably been counterated and lost everything. Yeah, there's multiple people, actually. All right, so I do have one gunpowder in my vault. Now, I'm gonna make it into high caliber because I still cannot make it into explosives because I cannot make components. And right now, doing an explosive is actually probably a bad idea because it will break all of the floors and people that are outside, they would easily kill us. All right, even more lockers. Oh, actually, there is a lot of lockers in here. There's even the big extended ones. Oh, gunpowder. Alright, there we go. That's perfect. It's like another 100 shots or an explosive. Alright, let's reload. I actually need to make this gunpowder into metal. So let's salvage this blowtorch. Oh, this one broke. Oh, another... Okay, well, shotgun and the cold deal. Alright, well, I'll take the ammo from the cold deal. Let's salvage the stock. We got ourselves another 100 shots. Alright, this one broke. Three developer batteries, U phone, and gyro. And this base rate is actually not that bad. Yeah, graphics card, two military radios. Right, well, at the end, obviously, we will salvage everything and make a lot of metal for our main base, which we're going to build later on. Alright, well, people in chat are saying who's raiding, and it's the same person that tried to raid us. So they're probably gonna try to counter raid us. Right, I'm gonna make a door as an extra layer of protection. There we go. Alright, this one broke. Oh, lovely mesh. A bunch of ammo. Bro, this base raid is actually insane. We're getting everything that we need. Alright, these two lockers broke. A billion radios. There is a extended backpack. That looks kind of weird. Alright, let's reload. Yeah, you still have 40 more shots. There's even more ammo down here. A, a lot of rope, you phone. A lot of tape as well. 
Uh, okay, a ton of defibrillator, but yeah, we're gonna make so much components from this base raid. We can go to the dead zone as well. Okay, uh, some magenta crystals and a bunch of green crystals. I think we need one more magenta crystal in order to make a sign crystal. Alright, let's reload. Alright, so Ghosty is out of ammo and I'm soon gonna be out of ammo as well. So we're gonna need more ammo. I think we have him base though. Oh yeah, he's gonna use the rebel actually. Never mind. Yes sir, I am out of ammo right now. Alright, well I'm gonna go back to base and I'm gonna see what else we can get in order to raid even more. And there's the rebel over there. Oh yeah, we should have probably prepared ourselves better. Yeah, I do have some sniper ammo on me, so perhaps I'm gonna place the radios over here. We're gonna probably have to use the rebel to continue raid. But with the mesh that we got, we can go to the dead zone literally right now. Now let's put everything that we just got in from here so that we, if we die, we still keep them in our base. Now we are going back. I got myself a ton of ammo for the sniper rifle. I'm gonna use the rebel as well. Yeah, Ghosty found some sniper magazines inside this base. Yeah, this one broke. Uh, another heat wave. Doesn't have that much ammo, but still better than nothing. Another rebel. Now we only have these two lockers left to raid. Alright, let's reload. There's another circuit board on the floor. Alright, last shot. Now, actually, with this heat wave, there's only 21 shots, but I'm gonna shoot them anyway. Alright, yeah, broke. Yeah, this one didn't have anything that good. Grenade, some tape, and a lot of rope. Alright, let's go back to the rebel. Reload. Yeah, I think the guys that wanted to counter raid us left as well. Or they're still waiting in there. Now, obviously, when we're done here. Okay, well, graphics card, another rebel, Moscow. Alright, not too bad. I'm actually really happy with this raid. We don't have any more raiding gear, but we can still go to the dead zone and hopefully we get ourselves a ton from there. Get ourselves a ton of components. We still need to farm for raiding gear once again. Alright, let's take everything, let's salvage everything, and then we'll go back. Alright, so we're currently in dead zone. Managed to pop the filter literally at 1%. We're gonna do a full dead zone run. Gonna go in all of the rooms, hopefully. We get easy raiding gear this time. The more gunpowder, the better. Military radio over there. Even more rubber. Let's check out over here. Two med kits. Okay, three med kits over there. Uh, another two defibrillator batteries. Nice. I hear people shooting above us. Yeah, we didn't get anything good from the red room, unfortunately. Yeah, somebody's PvPing literally above us. I'm just gonna completely ignore it for now. Gyroscope. Hellcat. Nothing there. Ever since I saw that one dude over here in the dead zone, I've been quite terrified to come down here. Because if I die, I would literally lose the only... Respirator that we have now. There's a rebel over here. I'll take that. All right So I should have actually brought myself a jackhammer with me so that I would have got myself some magenta crystals So that we can start upgrading our base also to sign lockers and all of that uh, Extended ammunition to car jacks a hundred high cal shots. That's really good 14 more shots All right, another high cal box sniper rifle magazine another sniper rifle and assault rifle. All right, pretty good loot run actually There's nothing here. Wait, is that a raid stock? Yes, sir. Now let's check out this components room as well. Gyroscope, graphics card, U phone. Now later on, we also may try to do a hard beacon. I am not sure. Depends on how much people there are on the server. All right, we got ourselves a drill. That's pretty good. The tape, jackhammer over there. We don't need that. Uh, gunpowder, some tape and some cans. Right, well, since we got ourselves the drill, I'm gonna get myself magenta crystals with that. There's another jackhammer over here. Oh yeah, let's pick them all up. I actually may run out of space. Yeah, I'm full of loot. Alright, and now we home. I got myself our first cyan locker. We place that right over there. And inside in here, we place ourselves the highest tier of items. Such as raiding gear, components, all of that. I think I saw a green skin. Oh yeah, he is. Alright, he's using a pistol. Oh no, he's not. Alright, he's dead. Uh, yeah, he was using some sort of SMG. I don't know what that is. Let's mad up though. Yeah, some high cal. Well, alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you did enjoy. Now, there is going to be episode 3, which we will continue much more raids and much more PvP. So, if you guys do want to see that coming out soon, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!